The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are traveling across the state for a rivalry game against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville will be led by captain and NFL leading rusher Maurice Jones-Drew, as well as rookie quarterback Blaine Gabbert. The Jaguars secondary did not play well against Phillip Rivers and the Chargers last week, giving up 294 passing yards and three touchdowns which may occur again this week and open the door for Kellen Winslow to make his 200th reception as a Buccaneer. Connor Barth is having an excellent year with the boot, converting over 92% of his attempts and currently has 13 consecutive field goals made, just three short of the franchise record of 16. My motto is make more than you miss. And, uh, you know, I got to give all the credit to my O-line, Mike, Kanan, and uh, Eco for snapping a great hold and uh, making it easy on me. and. Uh, like I said, you know, it's, uh, you know, they asked me to go out there and do my job and make those field goals, so I'm uh, trying to keep doing that. The front four of the Bucks are going to need to seal off the gaps in the line if the Bucks want to tame the potent rushing attack of the Jaguars' offensive scheme. Daquan Powers made the second start of his career last week and recorded eight tackles, five of which were for a loss. Look for Daquan Powers to become a regular starter on the Buccaneers' defensive line. Josh Freeman is listed as day-to-day -day and could possibly make his return to action after missing the game prior due to a shoulder injury. Buccaneers, Jaguars, Sunday at 1 p.m. from Everbank Field.